Hey everybody, I'm uh, at the uh, Rhino Cantina over here in uh, Arizona. Ryan just picked me up at the airport getting ready for the ATM event and we're looking at his amazing collection. And what does he show me? He says, how do you like this bottle? Looking at a Phoenician, do you guys know what this is? This is like the original Paradisio. This is ancient. He's telling me the story how we won it at a, some kind of charity event 15 years ago, huh Ryan? Yep. So we're gonna taste this, huh? Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. So I won it at a charity auction. It sat on my bar for several years. And most people go to somebody's house and they want to take a gift and they bring a bottle of wine. Right. And so I decided that I was going to bring a bottle of tequila. So I grabbed what I thought was not a very good bottle. You grabbed the Phoenician? And so I grabbed the Phoenician and I take it and give it to my buddy as a, a gift. <laughs> he leaves it in his cellar and on his shelf for many, many years. And then one of my other buddies and I break into it one night and we drank all of what's oh, gone. Oh, well, for you guys that don't know, I mean, you know, I've only heard the story. So Ryan wins this in 2000 and, well, I don't know what year it was, but the bottles are 2008. He wins it at a charity auction. I mean, this is like the Holy Grail. This is, this is Paradisio Phoenician. Whoa. He wins it when he wasn't even into tequila. And we're going to taste some of it. This is Holy Grail. Holy Grail, guys. Phoenician. Earliest versions of the Paradisio from Carlos at 11.39, La Altania. This is two guys trying a Holy Grail tequila, which many of you will never have the opportunity to try, and I wouldn't have if I wasn't here tonight. This is, this is a Phoenician early version of the Paradisio from Carlos Camarina. And here we are in uh, Paradise Valley, Arizona. Thank you for your hospitality, my friend. Salute. Salud. Yeah. Let's check this out. Oh, wow. For 2008, that mint, that mint freshness, that grassy. You notice how it's a lot of fruit. fruity, a lot of fruit. fruity and yeah. almost minty. Like a wet fruit, like a wet, flavorful, fruity. Minty, almost sweet. Like, I, I get the mint, but a yeah. little bit of currant. Almost. What? Currants? Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, this is this is really, it's a deep, it's a deep smell, right? Yeah. Layered, complex, like an old Carlos would be. Wow, you just can't get this stuff anymore. This bottle, <laughs> you tried to find a, a Phoenician, which is a, uh, it's a high-end uh, resort here in Arizona, which is, I guess, why they named it the Phoenician. It was made for them. This would be thousands of dollars for this bottle if this was available today, you know? Absolutely, but the 70th anniversary, I think, was 2007. So this was just after, but you see a little bit of the characteristics oh, of, definitely. The, you do. of the 70th anniversary. It's not identical. I, I think that's the holy grail of... Uh, yeah. The, the, uh, of XA's. Yeah, you know? ET70 is yeah, probably my ET favorite. ET70, but you, you pick up a lot of that, so this is almost the the, the precursor to ET70 was this bottle. Yeah. Since it's 08. Mm -hmm. hmm. Here I thought that this was so much older in that sense. Well, I guess that was the El Tesoro, and this was the Paradisio before Paradisio turned into what we know of it now. Mm -hmm. It started off as the Phoenician. This is the first, right after the the first version of the Paradisio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. it did come after the 70. You're absolutely right. Yeah. Wow, this is delicious, isn't it? It is. Wow, salud. salud. Got some honey. Got some like a cognac whiskey kind of thing. Sweetness. So it's really, it's got the fruit, like you said. It's got a little bit of heat, but wow, this is really delicious, you know? But the heat's mostly on the, the back end. Yeah, 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 it's on the way out. This is, this is the true example of 
you can't take it with you. Because <laughs> you're not, you're not even finding this stuff anymore. Yeah. This is, you know. I barely found it. Yeah, and that's, a, that's a funny story how, how, how you won it at an auction, you know, a charity auction. And then like left it at your friend's Tip. house thinking you were just giving someone a bottle of tequila for I a, left uh, it on my own shelf and for until a dinner, I gave it to him. I get dinner yeah. gift, like here's a bottle of twenty dollar wine, I'll give you this bottle of tequila I don't know anything about. I thought it was a nice bottle. Oh, you, you, but it turns out I didn't have no idea how nice a bottle uh, it was. Yes, that's yeah. exactly right. Yeah. And it's it's funny because regardless which one came out first or not, this is harder to find now than an ET70 would have been. Because of the limited production. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll find a 70, you'll just pay for it. This, you won't even find. You know, that's the difference, right? Oh, bro. The best part about good tequila is the people you're hanging out with. Is sharing it with good friends. And the best part about memories is making them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is my second Here's time back here. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. I was here in April of uh, 21, and I'm back here now in uh, October, and I love it here. I love it here. It's so beautiful here. And you have such a beautiful home, and you have, what a collection. My God, these bottles are just spectacular that you have here, Ryan. Great job. And I, I thank you for hosting this party we're about to have. Yeah. You guys will be seeing videos of that coming up soon, too, the ATM party. Wow. So this is just Salute. Paradiso, yeah. Venetian, wow. You can't take, take it, it with, with you. you.